Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So, we've already been seeing the Christmas commercials on TV, so I decided, you know what, let's talk about some After Effects Christmas graphics. So, if you guys are doing any works, you know, work for advertisement where you have to create sort of holiday graphics or you just, you know, want to create something for the family, I'm going to start doing a few tutorials uh, in the coming week uh, for Christmas. And for this tutorial, we're going to create sort of a Christmas world sort of uh, graphic kind of like this so it's all done here in after effects kind of you know just have the snowball with you know various graphics on the ball and some snow and this has a lot of uses you can even use this for like other things other than christmas graphics of course and you've probably seen this sort of graphic where it looks like a, a world is sort of you know turning and new graphics are appearing and this is really easy to do so we're going to go ahead and jump right into here after effects and we're going to start so the first thing i'm going to do is create a background so i'm going to go to layer new solid and we'll call this one background and white is okay. Then we'll go up to effect, generate, and we'll add the gradient ramp effect. And let's set this to a radial ramp. And let's set the start of ramp or the black color here. And let's put that right in the center of our comp. And let's go and set this to white. And let's take the end color here and let's bring that down just a little bit, kind of create sort of a nice little gradient. If you see any banding, um, it's probably because of YouTube's compression in my recording software. But if you do see any banding on your end, just increase the ramp scatter to get rid of that ugly banding. So let's go and grab the ellipse tool here at the top and let's hold down, let's click a point here in the center and let's hold down uh, control or sh command on a Mac and hold down shift at the same time to kind of draw out a perfect round circle, kind of like this. And then what we're going to do is you go to the selection tool and let's bring this down kind of like all the way down here. And then let's go into the ellipse one here. Let's go into the ellipse path and let's break the chain here and let's increase the width of this sort of circle. So it will kind of have like a little bit of land to work with and let's go ahead and reconnect the link and let's continue to just overall increase the size. So we kind of created like a, an oval, an awkward shaped oval and you know, that should be good. And maybe we can lower this by a little bit and let's rename this to, I guess, world. And so we have our basic elements here in After Effects. So now we gotta go and create the vector graphics. And I'm not gonna be creating them here in After Effects. I'm gonna be jumping over to uh, Illustrator where we have some of these graphics in here. I'm only gonna be creating the tree and I wanna show you guys how you can obtain other graphics. But let's start with the tree. So I'm gonna go up to File, New, and we'll create a new document. I was 1920 by 1080 is fine by me. So I'm gonna go over here to the Rectangle tool and I'm gonna hold that down and I'm gonna select the Polygon tool. And I'm going to just click a point right here in the middle and it, where it says uh, side six, let's go ahead and reset that to three sides. So we'll create a triangle, make sure to turn the stroke to zero and let's just go and increase this by a little bit so we see what we're doing. And let's go to the align tool here and it's kind of like center this up and it brings back up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and we're going to go up to edit, paste in place. And what we'll do is kind of drag this down a little bit. Maybe we'll increase the size by a little bit. Maybe like that. And then once again, let's copy this and let's paste it in place and drag it down by a little bit. And let's just make this a little bit bigger as well. And now we kind of have a tree. And then let's go and grab the rectangle tool and just kind of draw a rectangle like this. And let's set this color to maybe like a dark brown or something like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these three little triangles here and let's go up to window and click on the pathfinder over here. And let's go ahead and unite all three of those shapes. So now we can just click here and we have one complete shape. And let's go to the align tab and make sure everything's centered up. And now we kind of have a nice little tree. If we want, we can set this to like green or something, you know, depending on whatever you guys want to do. And then when we're done, let's go ahead and just save this. And I'll call this one tree two and click OK. So back in After Effects, if I go ahead and bring my tree two layer in here, I can see we see our vector. And if we put on this sort of uh, vector icon right here, uh, it'll basically just say this is a vector icon and it will resize everything without pixelation. So we can go here and scale this down and it's gonna be in perfect quality. And maybe we can start position this in places where we really like this to be. So maybe I can duplicate it again and just start position this, uh, you know, kind of where we like it. Maybe play with the size a little bit, duplicate this again, maybe do that. Okay. So, so far so good. And maybe we wanna add like another icon in here. So let's jump back over to Illustrator. And what I did is I downloaded two free packs uh, from freepix.com. So I downloaded this uh, and I also downloaded this little vector icon or this sort of set of graphics. 
and I'll provide these links in the description. And uh, of course, you can download these project files as well from the my link in the description. So, so what I did was I just selected the snowman from this pack and I just copied it and I pasted it in a new document right here and saved that. And then I went over to my little houses here and I just basically selected you know one house over here, copied it and put it into a, another separate document as you see and saved it. And then went back over to After Effects and imported the house layers and the snowman. And so now we kind of have some graphics to work with and I'll probably make a video in the coming weeks. Maybe I'll do a live stream of creating sort of Christmas icons uh, inside of Illustrator so we can kind of know how everything's created. But let's go back over to the tutorial and let's drag our snowman right into here. And let's just position this right over here and make sure to make that a vector icon as well. So maybe we make this a little bit bigger because you know, maybe it's the main attraction of all this. And maybe what we can do is just kind of take everything and just bring it down just by a little bit because that world's a little too big. And that should be fine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take all of our vectors here and we're going to go up to Layer, Pre-Compose. And we're going to call this maybe just like uh, Vector Set 1. And that should be good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start animating this a little bit. So let's go up to Layer, New, Null Object. And let's go to the Anchor Point. And let's set this to like the center of our world. So if our world center is like right here, let's go and set that anchor point right in the center there. And we can zoom right back into here. So then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, parent this to the null object. And if we hit make this a 3D layer, the null object, and make sure to make the vector set one here a 3D layer as well. And if we hit R on our keyboard, bring up the X rotation. As you can see, we can start to rotate this a little bit. And our only problem is, is like, the world down here is not a 3D layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of uh, fake 3D here. So let's, uh, you know, maybe take our world, our vector set here and put it underneath the world. And let's go to like, you know, 20 frames or something. And let's go to our rotation and let's add a keyframe for the X value. And let's go to the beginning of the timeline and just put this in a way like where it's underneath our world. So this will come up just like that. So then let's go to our last keyframe here and let's select our vector set one and let's go up to edit split layer and let's bring this layer to the top or uh, above the world layer. So now it'll kind of come on just like this. And if we say go to like two seconds here, maybe we can continue the rotation just by a little bit. So there's a little bit of animation. Let's go to like, you know, two seconds and 20 frames and then maybe we can just wipe it right off screen. So now we kind of just faked 3D and they kind of just pop in just like that. But our problem is right here is that once we do this jump here, as you can see, it kind of looks like it's just cutting right through the ball here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the world layer here, the world layer, and we're going to copy it. And we're going to go right into our comp here and we're going to paste it right in there and we'll keep it right above uh, all of our, um, our vectors here. So if we go back to our comp and we take a look at this, it will kind of just be a very nice smooth transition. It's like almost like all of our vectors are in the snow almost. So it looks really nice. I might want to go back into here and, you know, this is a great way we can make some quick changes. Maybe we'll make, raise everything up just by a little bit. And then if we go and maybe go to the text title tool and we can start maybe typing some text in here so we can go, you know, Merry Christmas or whatever you guys want to do. I'm using the font um, street script and maybe we'll just make this red. I know my, yeah. And then we can go here and maybe just center this up and we go back to our tut. As you can see, our text will follow just through like that and it'll look really nice. So things are basically set up at this point. I mean, we're practically at a duplication stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, you know, everything, our, our two comps here, or sorry, our single comp here that's split it in our null object. And I'm going to duplicate those and bring them to the top here. And we're going to go to like three seconds and offset it also. I've, we have this one come in and then we want to be able to see the other one starting to come in a little bit. So there we have that. And let's make sure that this set is underneath here. So everything is looking pretty good. So what we need to do at this point is we need to go to our projects over here and take the vector set one comp and we need to duplicate that. And we need to make sure our vector, our duplicated vector set ones here are selected, which are these two right here. And we need to hold down Alt on our keyboard. And we just gotta drag this into the uh, timeline here and it'll automatically replace it. So if we go ahead and double click into our vector set two, 
we have a brand new composition so we can start changing things in here. So for the tutorial sakes, I'll just uh, keep the tree in here, but I'll take out the snowman and I'll drop in our house and we'll vectorize that and maybe scale it down by a little bit. And you know what, we can maybe change the text and we'd be like subscribe. And of course, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, if you haven't already. So let's go back into our tut and as you can see, those elements automatically swapped out and everything looks like it's flowing really well. And what really what I like about the Illustrator to After Effects workflow is that if I jump right over to Illustrator and I wanna change the color of the tree, which is right here. So let's say if I wanna take the green here and I want it to be gray to make things kind of pop out. All I do is change the color, save this file, hop right back over to After Effects and everything seems to pop out a little bit more because I took out those greens. So that's really what I like about this workflow. But for this sake, we have all this animation here. Maybe what we can do is select both the nulls here, hit U on our keyboard, bring up all the keyframes and select all the keyframes like this and hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy as keyframes. But other than that, this looks really good and make sure to enable motion blur. And of course, um, you know, if you want, you can drop your logo here at the end like I did in my demo. But at this point, you guys are, should already know how to do that. So the last thing I wanna create is the snow. So we'll go right back to the tut here. Let's create a new solid and we'll call this one snow. And let's go up to effect, uh, simulation, and we'll use the CC particle world effect. And if we go to uh, the physics and we maybe want to set this to twirly, uh, we'll kind of get this nice little twirl action going on here. And let's set the gravity to 0.1 and I'm gonna set the velocity to uh, zero. And I'm gonna go to the particle and we're gonna set this to a faded sphere and maybe I'll set the size variation all the way to 100%. And we'll set the birth and death color to white. Maybe I'll set the death color to maybe a, a lighter sort of gray so we can kind of see the snow just by a little bit. And then let's go to the uh, longevity and maybe set this to like six so we can kind of have enough snow here. And then let's go to the producer and let's increase the radius X to go all the way across and maybe the radius Y go to the top. And if you want, you can create some radius C to create some depth. Maybe we can um, increase the birth rate by a little bit. So now we select off of this. We kind of have a little bit of snow here and it looks really cool. And after a quick render, this is what we have. And we just created a sort of 2D, 3D world. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please drop a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more After Effects videos just like this and drop a like because it helps me out tremendously and be sure to hit me up my social media networks. Those links in the description of this video. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.